Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Marcus Fixes Stuff, the show where I teach you how to fix stuff at home so you don't have to pay for an expensive repairman. We're back with my 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, where the window washer sprayer has stopped working on one side. I happen to have another sprayer right here, so we're going to pop the old one out and put the new one in. And don't forget to watch at the end of the video, because I will show you how much money you will save by doing this by yourself. Let's get started. Here's the sprayer in question. If, when I do this, you can see that this part has broken right here where it's supposed to connect. So only half of this is spraying on the window and that's pretty annoying. The first thing we're gonna do is just pop out this piece that's broken right out of this tube and make sure you don't damage this because we're gonna use this for the new part. The next thing we're gonna have to do is get a screwdriver and pop this thing out and push it through the front and it'll actually come out the top of the hood. I gotta say it was easier to do when this was on the driver's side, but this is the passenger side. So I've literally crawled inside of the engine right now. If you can see this little piece right here is gonna have to be pushed in just like that. Then there's one on the back side. Do that one as well. And then this whole piece just pops right through the front. See that? Now we have a nice pretty little hole there. As you can see, the old sprayer just got brittle and fell apart. And even when I pushed it through the hole, it broke into more pieces. But now that we've got that one out, we can attach the new one and then attach the hose back to it and make sure it works. So that's where the sprayer used to be. We're gonna get a, a wet paper towel and just clean this off there before we put the new one on because I don't want any dirt or anything trapped under there forever. All right, now here's the new one. Obviously you wanna make sure it's facing. This is the spraying side and you want that to face the windshield. We're gonna drop it in like that. And if you can see there, it matches up perfectly with the hole that's pre-cut in the hood and it'll snap down, listen. There you go, in place and secure. Now we just have to attach the hose on the other side. All right, here's the piece on the other side of the hood where it came through and this little nozzle right here will go onto this hose and it should kind of snap on as well. You wanna, oh, there we go, give it a little elbow grease, make sure it's a good connection because you don't want that coming off. Now we just have to see if it works. All right, you can see the sprayers, let's see what we got. Yep, we got spray on both sides. Looks like another job well done. As usual, I did some research online and I found out that the average cost to fix this is $140. It goes from $125 to $155. So we're saying $140 for this repair. The cost to fix it at home, $9. And you get two nozzles, people. $9 on Amazon. That's $131 worth of savings. And y'all saw how fast it took me to replace this. It was, it was less than five minutes to get this job done. Less than five minutes and you save $131. That's why you do stuff at home. That's just crazy. Okay, okay, I'm done. Let's get back to the video. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again when something else breaks. And as always, God bless.